bit of a Bentley update, kind of cold. It's actually minus two outside. Inside the wash, I don't think it's any better. And uh, yeah, finally, uh, I should show you. Did I show you? I don't know. I've got the flanges for the exhaust menu for the rift. Only two of them, two of the four. Uh, but that's okay. I do one side first and then the other one. There you go. Nice, very nice. 316 stainless, TNC machined. Uh, nice transition from pretty much square uh, head, obviously exit from the exhaust into the completely round for the pipes. Quite nice. I like it. I like it. Ooh, what is in there? <laughs> However, like I say, finally, it's a bit of freezing, but nothing will stop us. Doing the merge collector, that was the prototype, the aluminium one. Don't know if you've seen it, probably yes. And that's the final one. Well, final. It's the stainless one. Just welding this baby up. I don't know, let me see if the camera picks everything up. No, not much. Won't focus. No, it doesn't want to focus. Shame. And then once we've done it, uh, you have to weld that face because then everything, everything is gonna pull. Once it's welded and settled down, you have to we have to chop it on the bottom uh, to match the V-band flange, this diameter here, the inside. But I'm gonna show you that later on. Oh well, yeah, kind of cold. So as you know, the merge collector has to match the V-band, right? and pretty much uh, the inside diameter because this is where the flow goes so that's what we need to match as much our as the best as possible now i always chop this uh, with the angle grinder no matter what flange what mesh collector is usually you got twin scrolls t3 t4 whatever and that's the only way you can do it however what i was thinking so hold on this is the first time i'm actually doing the 16 one uh into a v-band which is completely round so what happens is that if you do a perfect job if you do a very good job and you have all of these six of them completely um perfectly equal and you weld them together quite equal uh, well as perfect as you can you will have something completely symmetrical right means she is completely round and we have six of them and then I was like, hold on, my lathe, my lathe Joe is actually three clamps. It means I can clamp one of these, one of these, and one of these, like, like so. And it will be symmetrical, symmetrical. Maybe. So, what I did, I got my V-band clamp. I went on my lathe, I have put it on. And I say, let's see if I actually done a good job and weld it up pretty much symmetrical. Because when you, you chop the pieces, you put them together and it's one thing. But then when you weld this stuff, it's, it's difficult because welds they pull. Uh, especially when you do TIG welding, it pulls, it pulls massively. So you really have to be clever on welding like spot welds all around and then be more all around. Then inside, try to make a pull all equal. It's pretty much when you tie the head, um, a cylinder head. You have to spread the folds of pulling the bolts on the head equally, right? And it's same with the welding when you have multiple pieces and you have to pull everything at once. Same shit. So I say, you know what? I put it on the lathe and it actually fits in the jaw, uh, you know, and it's just perfectly there. You just, it's all symmetrical completely. You put it on and it should be equal. When you turn it, it should be on one piece. It shouldn't go up and down on anything. So. This is the result we have. It's completely spot on. Now, I did chop this with the angle grinder, obviously. And what I do, I do a smaller diameter face and then shave it down, be more, be more, as soon as we match the internal diameter of the flange, which for now, as you can see, we're still a little bit far away. Not much, but still. But now, as I have it on the lathe, this means one thing 
which makes me happy because he's completed so much ago means I've done pretty much a perfect job I mean it's you can't lie this is this is the proof this is it you know uh, it's uh, all of them is like completely in exactly the same place uh, in comparison to the central axis so I'm very happy with this but also I can just mill it down with the with the tools with the cutters and just mash them perfectly to the flange you know what this is fun the first time I'm doing actually magic all to into the V-Band 61 and uh, yeah I like it although it's a bit cold I'm not saying it's minus two inside it's a bit better now but yeah we're really low so however let's do it <laughs> It is cold. So, this is what we get. Let me just check if the camera focuses. Uh, kind of. Yeah. Let me put the light on. There you go. Right, so we're going to clamp all together nice and tight. You want to properly tight and then I'm gonna just cut, do a couple of welds all around maybe three or four of them just to keep this in place and then we have to block all these bolts with the tin foil again and the runner gas inside because this has to be purged inside uh, this is the only way you can do actually a full penetration weld and it's gonna be completely well complete because otherwise if you don't have a gas inside, you're gonna expose your welds to the oxygen and it's gonna be contaminated and it's not gonna be stainless anymore, it's not gonna be flexible anymore. And it is actually there when you have stainless exhaust manifolds cracking. It's because they have not been purged, not been welded properly. Not because it's stainless, it's actually very elastic. So, you know, I've seen this before, I said this before, I think, on previous videos. People say this crap is like, oh, you have to do it in mild steel because stainless cracks, uh, cracks, it doesn't. If you, normal material cracks, it's like stainless is very good, especially 316 or even 321, which is even more flexible. And then you go into ink on out. But all of these materials, you have to push the gas inside. You have to make sure there's no mechanical stress and all that stuff. And then there will be no problems whatsoever. I've been doing exhaust manifolds for years and years and years, and not a single one of them cracked. Uh, we had a couple of, well, we had one prototype for one UZ engines. It was a bad design. People were always asking for something cheap, something, you know, you just put it on, and 
I did get trapped into that and it's like, you know, all right, try it. This is not the way it should work. And I've done it. And guess what? It cracked twice. So I was like, no, no never again. No, I'm not doing that. I've done a mistake and not, not again. Yeah. Uh, you can see something inside there. Let me just see if the camera focuses because probably not. It's like a small spot. Let me just put the light on. You see? Small spots over there. That is actually penetration going through. Uh, which I don't usually go like completely through because it pulls a little bit more. You can see some spots they go through. I call it that like that's like 85 90 percent penetration, and that's good enough because it helps me to stop the material moving too much and pulling welds too much so everything stays in place. But yeah, so tag it on, put it in for running gas through, and let's. Weld it up. That's it, all blocked. Then you got a feed pipe from the top, all kind of almost sealed. Uh, obviously, it's not completely sealed because you need the argon flowing in and oxygen going out. Seeing some flow. Uh, I got about 12 minutes per minute right now. It's been for 30 seconds, then we can slow it down to roughly two, three liters per minute. On the gas well we got 18, a bit too much, we don't need that. Uh, let's do it on 17, that will be enough. And uh, yeah, we can weld it up. Let's see which way is better. I'm gonna do one sectional face, then turn it around because it's gonna pull. sure if this is gonna work if it does then happy days if it doesn't then well I tried The reason why I'm clicking again is to make the post flow slightly longer so we don't have oxygen contamination. You see any changes in colors? This is purple blue and this side is completely gold. This right, so all around is welded. I don't know if you can see anything. Uh, maybe if I turn around a little. There you go. Shame the camera won't focus now. We got this filled with the gas, that's enough, we can close it and uh, we have to weld this inside there, you see this small spot, like I said I want to port it, I want to weld it up, it's going to be even stronger and the beauty is once we got the argon here it will stay there because that's as soon as much as these are sealed, not completely, but when you put the torch inside and weld them inside there, you're gonna keep adding this argon inside. And argon being obviously heavier than oxygen, it actually stays there. So we have a nice, uh, well, beautiful argon shield there. So 
let's do these bits inside and then we have to wait till everything is cooled down and then we're gonna remove the clamp right so that's done let me just pull it down a little maybe you can see it better maybe not i don't know but that's all welded on inside as well Let's see it's actually not sticking out at all maybe maybe like a meter and a half too which no problem but it's nice and smooth so that will not break a flow at all uh, on the inside there is barely any step probably a quarter of a meter not even that from what i can see so maybe not even need to pot it too much just a touch and this will be perfectly smooth and flow will be just interrupted uh, on the outside it looks like ooh, well you've seen it how it looks like on the outside nice and strong so yes i'm happy and then we have to do this like a transition adapter between the flange and the turbo because i want to do it like spot on everything and uh, we're good well the first one we need a second one so yeah it takes some time to make a good exhaust manifold to be honest you know it's uh just to tack a few pipes together and do it it's 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 gonna take i don't know two three days and to do it proper proper is gonna take you probably twice or even three times longer so that's why they're so expensive <laughs>